So, um, I don't buy on the internet or anything, but I just saw this post about, um, I guess someone from my hometown or school talking about something very, very personal to me that I would never want on the internet. And I've talked about it once before on a live and not even exactly what it was about, but it's just so dumb the things people say so they can take other people down. And so I'm just gonna explain myself now so it doesn't go any farther. When I was in sophomore year in high school, I had um, very bad anxiety, and it got so bad to the point where I developed this thing called PNES, which is psychogenic non-epileptic seizures. And it happened once, it happened on my last day of school, because I never went back since I felt really sick that entire day, and I was sick all throughout the day. And I walked out of school and I felt awful. Like I just felt shaky and gross. And then I go back and I go back into school and I grab my friend and I'm like, can you walk me out to my mom's car? Because I just do not feel well. And this happened on um, April 18th. And so I walk back inside and I grab my friend and we're walking back outside and I fall to the ground and start having, I don't know if anyone, I'm talking about seizures, I don't know if that offends anyone or bothers anyone. Anyways, so I fall to the ground and have a seizure. I start having these seizures and compulsing because it's not an epileptic seizure. And um, I start compulsing and having these seizures because that is what they're classified as even if they are not an epileptic seizure the anxiety brought me to the point of having a seizure and this is a very very real thing anyways so um i'm taken out of school after having these for a couple minutes and i am taken to the hospital and i'm taken in an ambulance off of school grounds which i never went back to that school again and then I'm taken to the hospital and I'm there for two days where they have constantly monitoring me and I have over 400 of these compulsions over the next two days. I then, um, um, after that point, I left the school. I developed a lot more things that come with these, with uh, psychogenic non-epileptic seizures where I developed a stutter and I was shaking all the time. Anytime I would have anxiety or my heart rate would go up, I would start shaking my legs or something like that. So I was on bed rest for since the April 18th day until I started, and that is why I switched schools. Started keeping, finishing that rumor too, because it's been a rumor as well that I something else happened on why I switched schools. That is why I switched schools. I... And like, it's frustrating because I've heard that a lot, that I fake seizures for attention. Then why would I leave schools? Why would I have a diagnosed thing and have, I have videos of the seizures due to, because they were seeing if they were ep epileptic or not, and they had to watch the seizures constantly. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to address that right away just because... That's something I don't like talking about at all, but I'm not going to let anyone think of me in another way because that is not fair and not very kind because it's something that I don't like talking about. It gives me a lot of anxiety talking about and I, it's just not really fair to anyone to say that in any other way because I was a person when I was in my old school who I did not like, who I don't want to be ever again and I just was not happy. I didn't, I was not myself because I had so much anxiety and everything going through my brain all the, t all the time where I like couldn't even have a proper conversation with anyone. But I'm so thankful for who I am now and why, where I am and all that. And I just want to ad address that now because I, this is something that means a lot to me because that situation grew helped me grow to the person I am today and I don't want it any other way and I love you all so much I don't talk about this at all because I it really affects me every time I talk about it I love you James and 
Hi, Sam. <laughs> so, I just wanted to say that, um, I, I'm sorry if I portrayed it that way. I just never went back to my school because I couldn't because I was so embarrassed and I felt so awful and, like, I shouldn't have to give proof for that, but I just, like, want to Sorry, my alarms keep going off. I wouldn't want any, like, I didn't want to share this, but uh, to, to a point there has to be a time because it's something I know people deal with and it's a real thing, but it's not a big thing, so it's not, like, normalized or anything, so not a lot of people know about it, but that's it. Just wanted to say that, and I love you all so much, um, and yeah, bye.